Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Allie Ferguson with Pioneer, and I'm here with Chris Edgar, our Pioneer sales representative. Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Edgar, sales rep, um, River Falls, Health with Area. Well, we've kind of had uh, corn planting in two different waves. One early uh, that was that started late April. Uh, the second one started in around the fifth, fourth, fifth of May. And uh, like most parts of the country, planting went very fast. We had real good planting conditions. So it was dried out nice. So Chris, we've had some pretty severe pounding rains here um, in the past couple of days. Um, and some folks might be thinking that crusting could become an issue here in the near future. Um, thinking about rotoring, hoeing, maybe a management practice that they'll be considering. What advice do you have for those folks in terms of how do we, what are we looking for um, when we see crusting and what are our management options when we do do see that? Yeah, with the, with the, with the recent pounding rains, there is some crusting concerns. Probably the most, uh, most corn in jeopardy would be the last planted. Uh, the, the stuff planted around, around the 4th, 5th of May is starting to emerge and so that won't be an issue. So this last planted corn, um, the, the soil got really dry on top and so the small particles were real fine. Pounding rain makes that a little more vulnerable to crust. So we need to watch that here in the next um, four or five days as it's gonna try to emerge. And if there is crusting that starts, um, you know, rotary hole might be an option. Sure. Hey, Chris, when you look at the weather, it could potentially be coming here in the future. It could go a couple different ways. We could have some severe heat coming up and warming and drying out those soils, or we could have another rain event. Could you just walk us through um, what extremes might we might we see on both ends of those weather spectrums? Yeah, Ellie, if, if we get to, if, when this rain stops now and if we get real hot and dry, um, that's going to create conditions where that, that soil surface will dry out real fast and could, could get hard and crusting. If we stay cool and, and prolong grain period like this, it'll keep that, that surface uh, moist and soft, then the crusting probably won't be an issue. Sure. So Chris, as a farmer yourself, when you're looking at making this decision in your own personal field, how do you go about making this decision and when is it time to just say, okay, we need to, to go out there and, and go forth with the decision? Okay. Well, if I, I'm probably going to base it off of um, certain fields based on the soil types. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the heavier soils are going to crust easier. And if we get that weather, that's going to create that crusting. I'll probably go check check the corn, see where it is for emergence, and probably won't wait. I'll probably just go ahead and rotary hole if it gets if it gets hard on top. Chris, we're pretty early in the season here yet, but as we take a peek at the growing season to be coming, we have a lot of new exciting products as well as our very strong perform performing older products that we're excited to take a peek at. Could you just walk us through maybe a couple of numbers that you're excited about or some of our older ones as well that you are excited to see progress throughout the growing season? Yeah, this year we've, we've got a large a large amount of new products coming out and, and probably more excitement this year than I've had in my tenure with, with Pioneer. Um, we've got some really strong stable products and, and like in our PK flat out here, we've got some like a 9608, 0306, 9998. And looking at those on this um, beginning emergence, the agronomics are real strong. And, and so we're hoping that follows through in the, at the end of the year when we get, uh, get to yield. And on the soybeans, we've got the new A series, the new extend soybeans, and really excited about that. Uh, they're promoting a 2.3 yield advantage over our existing lineup and that's a significant improvement. Yep. Definitely. Chris, well, I think as we move forward here, there's a couple probably timely agronomic topics that it's always nice to, to recap with all of our folks today. So if you wouldn't mind just keying in on a couple of those top topics that are on your mind as you look at your management decisions in the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ellie, I know with this warm weather we've got and, and plenty of moisture, um, weed management's, management's going to be very very important too. So uh, not only is our corn and soybeans growing fast, but the weeds grow even faster. So we need to keep an eye on those. Um, and from the from an insect standpoint, uh, we get a little bit more no-till in the area. Mm -hmm. and a lot of that has a cover crop. That rye cover crop can be very attractive for the fall armyworm. Mm -hmm. And so we want to keep an eye on like fall armyworm and black cutworm. Yep. Great. Thanks. Mm -hmm.